Hello. Oh, 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 until it explodes by Inner City Press, a fake recycling. Yeah. The bags are all ran together. So you'll cover that? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, well, it's so good to okay, see you. Okay, thank you. Uh, America. Yeah, you're just going to make it. Animals of Germany. Animals of Germany. It's nice to welcome you back. This time, the Secretary General. Several times in always with a very important policy. My high-rise American. That's it, right? Well, thank you. Thank you. We're very excited for this time. This is our last one. That's it. That's it. This is our office. This is our office. This is our office. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So it's him. But why? Why did you put you in this corner? Melanie. Yeah, yeah. Everything from this tiny place. But we have another one here outside. And we're actually uh, we have the Secretary General and Secretary General. And it will be a good opportunity, of course, to meet everyone. Tom, this office is getting some really heavy use. Go th I, have, I have a minder to cover the UN. No, this is all just suck up and sell. And all of them, well, I don't want to generalize. I'll just say it's an extremely disgusting situation. And I hope that per per the press freedom groups who like to come and hold their events in the UN can see that this is the slavish, servile, absolutely ludicrous, ludicrous, embarrassing. Now, people seem to think it was an honor that Mr. Guterres shook their hand. He shook the hands with everybody. He would have shaken the hands with anybody that moved. Anybody that came through, he would have. It's true. Absolute corruption. And when the, and when the ax falls and the tree has the for, the, no one hears the forest for the trees, you will know why. Suck up and selfie. Part two. Part deux. A shameful. Let's see the time. Time to go. Oh, wait. We're going to go back on one more time, folks. This is it. For this. And you have a journalist saying, oh, it's the state media of Egypt. Inner City Press was thrown out of this office to put this non entity into it who does no work, never comes in. We're going to go back on one more time, folks. This is it. For this. And you have a journalist saying, oh, it's the state media of Egypt. Inner City Press was thrown out of this office to put this non entity into it who does no work, never comes in, not even here today. And the people next to come on, come on, we're having a nice ride here. Disgusting. Hey, shameful. Everybody getting selfies with, with, with Guterres. Disgusting. Like you're a journalist, you're supposed to cover it. It's not a fucking, what kind of rock star? It's not his fault, it's their fault. Somebody said, oh, you're attacking Guterres. I'm not attacking Guterres. I'm Place. Mr. Guterres didn't visit this place. He visited the sunny offices of sunny correspondents who love the UN so much it hurts. And it's going to hurt. Uh, it's report there was a, a, a senator elect, Guy Philippe, who was arrested. And I'm think hearing that UN uh, facilities were pelted with stones. And in a WFP facility, some 66 people couldn't get out. So I'm wondering one, can you confirm that? And two, why isn't Minusta, why aren't you providing some? Uh, some uh, I have Announcement received, on that. I have not received any reports uh, from the news on this. Doesn't mean they're not reporting it to local media, but I haven't gotten anything. Can I ask you something? Got a question? So the question is this: the question is, how could Jeffrey Sachs stand at a press conference with Ban Ki Moon? 
on the steps of the UN residence and state that he will advise him during the presidential campaign in South Korea and remain a UN official. And it was asked to the deputy, Farhan Haq, who said, I'll leave it for Jeffrey Sachs, but we've heard nothing. And um, so that's the question. The whistleblower policy, it seems, remains unclear, unclear if um, Guterres will, in fact, modify it. If he won't, there will be a budget cut. This is a prediction. This is a certainty. Now, before, as background, before today's multi-joked briefing, Mr. Stefan Dujaric toured. We're calling it the, well, selfies tour, the selfies tour toured the journalist's office with the Secretary General. No questions were taken, just selfies and signatures. Um, this chocolates, that's how it works here. That's how it goes. We'll just ask the Jeffrey Sachs question tomorrow. Unless, of course, Jeffrey Sachs answers. Now, before we turn it off, 10 months of restrictions thrown out of the UN, thrown out of the office, thrown out of this room, all came down to this. A day in January, 2016, when the room was filled with journalists and there was no sign closed, Inner City Press came in to cover the meeting, seeking to pursue the Ang Lap Sang corruption case. We can get into why it was relevant, but it was relevant. To cover it, to periscope it and do a voiceover just like this, we did it standing up in this glass booth. It's entirely visible, the purpose of which was not to have to inter not to interact and not to disrupt with voiceover. From the podium, the then head of the organization that today did selfies and uh, chocolates with the new secretary general said, you got to get out. I said, no, we don't. This is a press briefing room for all. Even if Stefan chooses to walk out on some questions and not others, you still have a right to come in. Stefan himself came in. He stood right here. He said, come on, I've got to see my effing kids. And we said, like those effing kids, but is the meeting closed or not? I told him, Either show some paperwork, or if a guard says to leave, we'll leave. One guard finally came in, said one word here, the spokesman wants you to leave, and we left. Three weeks later, the woman seen previously on this periscope, earlier today, touring around, glad-handing, cheek-kissing, um, wrote a letter and said, you're out, you're out, you gotta go. Two hours, notice. Eight guards pushed Inner City Press down the escalator, around the traffic circle, threw its laptop onto the ground of First Avenue. April 16th, five boxes of Inner City Press's files thrown on the sidewalk. Then, office awarded to an Egyptian state media, not here today for the suck-up and chocolate session, um, never here, never asked any questions. This is what the UN likes. During the tour, Mr. Stefan Dujaric said, we try to give uh, closed offices to television and radio, and the other ones can be... No, no. You throw out journalists that actually ask about corruption. The problem is, the corruption beat is a growth industry in 2017. And no matter how many jokes there are about female gorillas <laughs> or earpieces, the lack of due process and the defense of corruption will kill the U.N.